Welcome to Shanti Peace for Mathematics. In this video, we are discussing about the problem on Lagrange multipliers. So we are discussing this problem given that x plus y plus z is equal to a, find the maximum value of function x raised to m, y raised to m, z raised to p, where this a, m and and p are the parameters. So let us recall what are the working rule to calculate extremum value for the function with given condition using Lagrange multipliers. So this is the working rule you have which tells you that you first write down the function f which is f. The function small f is nothing but the function for that you need to calculate the minimum value or a maximum value. The phi of x, y, z is gives you a condition. The extra condition is given to you. So that is your phi of x, y. The lambda is the parameter that you are taking. And then the next task is to obtain the equation del phi by del x, del phi by del y, del phi by del z is equal to 0. The third task is to solve this three equation together with this phi of x, y, z is equal to 0. And the value of x, y, z you obtain, they are the stationary value for this function. The drawback of the Lagrange multiplier is you cannot tell that whether that stationary value will give you a maximum value or a minimum value. So hence, we will start now to solve this example using that. You just note that here the given condition is this. So your function phi of x, y, z is nothing but the x plus y plus z minus a, which is equal to 0. And your small f of x, y, z here, it is x cube, sorry, x raised to m, y raised to m, and z raised to p. Now we define the function f, which is f plus lambda phi. What is f? We can substitute the value x raised to m, y raised to m, z raised to p plus lambda x plus y plus z minus a. Now that is the step 1. Step 2 is to calculating the partial derivative of this f with respect to x, y and z and equate them equal to 0. So we will do that. So del f upon del x. Let me write down what is f here. The f we have it is x raised to m, y raised to m, z raised to p plus lambda into x plus y plus z minus a. So del phi by del x is equal to 0 implies m into x raised to m minus 1, y raised to m, z raised to p plus lambda equal to 0. Del phi by del y equal to 0 implies m x raised to m y raised to m minus 1 z raised to p plus lambda equal to 0. And del phi by del z equal to 0 will implies p x raised to m y raised to m z raised to p minus 1 plus lambda equal to 0. And we can just observe these three equations and from this three equation we can write down lambda equal to m x raised to m minus 1 y raised to m z raised to p because this value is equal to minus lambda so I'm just writing here minus lambda equal to that is equal to m x raised to m y raised to m minus 1 z raised to p that is we get from this equation and the third one will give you p x raised to m, y raised to m, z raised to p minus 1. Now if I divide this equation by x raised to m, y raised to m and z raised to p, here also the same quantity. Here also we are dividing the same quantity. What is the left here? We have it is m upon x, x. Here we will get n upon y. Here we will get p upon z. Finally, we will have m upon x is equal to n upon y equal to p upon z. Now, probably you know the rule of this. So, that is 
we can write this is the same as m plus n plus p upon x plus y plus z. Why we are doing this? Because we have given the phi of x, y, z equal to 0, we have. And that is x plus y plus z is equal to, we have given the value with a. So we will use that value here, that's why I have taken the sum of these three. And hence we will have this is equal to m plus n plus p upon a. So therefore, this will gives you, if you equate this with this one, we will have x which is a m upon m plus n plus p. Same way we have y which is a n upon m plus n plus p and z is equal to a p upon m plus n plus p and this are the, the function has extreme value at this point because that is the solution for this four equation that we have considered that is fx equal to 0, fy equal to 0, fz equal to 0 and the function phi equal to 0 and hence the extremum value or we can say a maximum value of this function f of x, y, z at those points which we have calculated it is the x is a m upon n plus n plus p a n upon n plus n plus p and a p upon n plus n plus p and you know that the function is x raised to m y raised to m z raised to p so if i substitute this value we'll have a raised to m plus n plus p because that is a a is here also here also and here also that's why coming m plus n plus p then it is m raised to m n raised to n p power p upon m plus n plus p power m plus n plus p this will be the extreme value for the function this and it has to be a maximum value because the smallest value is also possible as 0, 0, 0, which gives you 0 and this is bigger than this. So that's why this has to be a maximum value of the function. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or question, please drop down a question on a comment box below. See you in the next video. Till then. Bye-bye, Sam.